everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. The sun is up. Uh, it's actually a gorgeous day. It's April 20th and it is my birthday. Happy birthday! So I've heard from a few people and I've gotten lots of birthday wishes, so thank you so much. Um, but more than that, thank you for joining me on the table. We're going to have fun with the sewing collage this morning. Uh, you can glue it, of course. I am for inspiration only. And uh, I hear from so many of you, and you are inspired, and you are taking care of yourselves, and you're getting some playtime. And I am eternally grateful for that. So, uh, see you on the table. Before we get started today, I want to share with you some goodies that I received. This is a fun card. A little message inside from Susan. I don't know what you use there, but it's fun. Maybe just a piece of scrapbooking paper. Anyway, this is gorgeous. And look at this. Oh, she's going to hang on my wall. Isn't she fun? Kind of a gauzy skirt, textured paper, little feather, fun wings. She came packed in this. And then a fun birthday card from Susan. And this was the package that it came in. You guys are so good. <laughs> it's just like, if I get something in the mail, I think I'm doing well. You guys, ah, decorate it. I just uh, don't have that in me sometimes. This is from Amanda Jane. Look at that birthday card she sent me. Look at the hats. So fun. Little ballerina. And then she sent me a big box full of stuff and stuff. This is a picture of her grandma. Here's one of her pores that she's so well known for. Look at this book. Look at those pages. Look at how yellow those pages are. I'm so off screen. Look at how yellow those pages are. They are divine. And I'll just show you one more thing because there's a, there's a few other things in here. Here's my birthday card. La 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 la. And this is a piece of her mixed media artwork that she sent. It goes like that. Beautiful, right? Alright, thank you for the birthday wishes and the birthday gifts. I've heard from so many people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is the fun sewing collage that we're doing today. Glue that down. There we go. So I sewed her down. You don't have to sew it down. I just am a little, I needed a little spark. So I sewed it down instead of gluing it down this morning. So that's what we're going to make today. All right, let's talk about the supplies that you're going to need for your, look at that, isn't that fun? That is a fun book cover. Okay, the supplies that you're going to need for today, of course, is your altered book. You will need two pages from your book, and if you look at how to make a healthy book, you'll know that I tear it out of the center of the signature, where it's sewn in, I tear that out. So you'll need two pages like that. Mod Podge, three colors of cheap acrylic paint, colors of your choice, make you dizzy on that, some alligator clips, exacto, sanding block, sewing machine, a book that you can go through to get images out of, this is a summer set, and you will need an image that you're going to use for your focal point. I'm using her. She's from Hout Doll. And you will need a piece of paper that uh, has some fun print on it, a book page or a piece of music paper or something like that, something with some fun uh, background on it. And you're going to send this through your printer. So if you take this piece of paper and put it in your tray with your printer paper, and then put the girl on the on your copier part of your printer 
and run this through, then she will copy on there. Let me grab one. Okay, here she is. I just ran her through on some music paper. She actually still had the used book price on her, uh, which I did take off later, as you can see, but this is all covered up, so it doesn't matter. So a fun piece of paper, a focal point, and then print your focal point on that fun paper. Okay, out of my book, the center of the signature, where they're uh, sewn in. All right, I have my Mod Podge, I have white gesso, and I have some spare uh, pages here, also ripped out of the book, and I have my focal point. I haven't gotten past that, but I found her very interesting, so I wanted to play with her. So what I'm going to do is, uh, my, my intention, <laughs> my intention is <laughs> to uh, glue her on and then sew embellishments onto her. That is my intention. So that's why I have this page separate, because I'm going to work on this and then I can glue this back into my book. Alright, so those two are Mod Podge together. I'm going to just dip into my gesso, my white gesso. Cover that page with a nice coating of gesso. Because I want some texture. All right, nice coating of that. Then I'm going to lay these extra pages down onto that page. Give it a nice little pat. And then slowly remove it because I want some nice, ooh, look at that texture. That's fun. I have texture on both sides. All right, I'm just going to move this because I know it'll get stuck here. And I'm going to set this aside to dry because this is what we're going to use. But look at that. That's a twofer. Love twofers. All right, I'm going to let this dry. Okay, good morning. As you can tell by the light, it is dark o'clock here in Vallejo, California. A little chilly out this morning. I have my sweater on still. So the page with the uh, gesso texture is dry. A little bit of extra texture there. I cut out my girl's face that I'm going to use. And I'm going to um, add some color to the background. So, oh, that's brand new. Wow. All right. We'll use this one first then. And I'm just going to put a few drops on. And with the gift card, just going to drag it down. Beautiful texture, huh? Very nice. And I'm going to let that dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to go through some magazines and I'm going to just go through these and see if I can find some fun stuff to put on her head. So we'll set this aside and let this dry. Should we go through the magazine together a little bit? So let's go through the magazine just a little bit. This is a Somerset magazine of some sort. I've already ripped the cover off. And then what I do is I just go through the magazine. This is kind of fun. Kind of large for her head. But maybe we can use that someplace. This is fun. Ooh, on the other side, look at that. That has a better chance. 
All right, we'll put that in the maybe pile. I do not want a kitty. Do not want pears. This is kind of fun. That has possibility. X lax. Ha! <laughs> Probably not on this piece. Can you see this squiggly green stuff up there? That's kind of fun. I've been through this one a million times, pulling out things that were interesting and fun. And I may get a big pile out of this magazine or I may grab another magazine and go through it. This could be fun. Some kind of feathers out of her hair or out of her head. <laughs> or behind her. Who knows? Depends on the color scheme that gets picked up. Love this. I'm not ready to use that yet. These are fun. I like this, but not necessarily with this piece. Hmm. This could be fun to kind of cut some fun things out of. There's those seashells again. Oh, what the heck? Oh, Sailor's Valentine. We needed that for our sailor. And we are about at the end of this magazine. Just take the whole page. All right, so I have a few focal points for her hair to look at. I'm going to cut those out with an X-Acto because the X-Acto gives a softer edge to glue. And then we will come back. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, cutting things out with an X-Acto. When you cut things out with an exacto, of course you need something underneath to protect your space. But it, you know, you'll have some areas that aren't cut. Do not tear them. As tempting as it is, it's just like, oh, it's just caught by that little piece. I can just rip that. Do not rip it because it will go into your focal point and cause a white tear area that is not fun and sometimes you lose more of your focal point than you want to. So even if you think it's just a little spot, go back in with your X-Acto and make sure that it's it's clipped, that it's cut. So see right here, I want to just tear that because I know it's not very big. It's like no, go back in there with the X-Acto and make sure it's all loose with your X-Acto blade, okay? I know. I know, we just want to do it the quick, fast way. I don't know what we're going to do with that, but it sure is interesting. All right, going forward, cutting out more. All right, my first coat of, all except for that spot. <laughs> my first coat of uh, the acrylic is dry. I have on my scarf from... Susan this morning. I love it. I live in it. I'm going to take my sanding block and I'm just going to rough this up a little bit. <clears throat> Brush off the dust. I do know that the majority of this page is going to be covered. So 
I don't have to go too crazy in the background, but I do want to have some fun. So what I'm going to do next is just bring in some old book pages, some underpants, and my Mod Podge. I had class last night. I came home and I did not unpack everything. It's kind of still sitting around. And I just want a few little strips of something something up here. I can put the, the Mod Podge right on this page because this page is acrylic, not watercolor, so I don't have to be afraid of moving that paint around too much. do not have to wait for that Mod Podge to dry. And I'm going to grab my second color. All right, I have a pink that's open. Oh, that should be enough for the entire page. Grab my gift card from someplace. the unevenness that the card gives me. It's not all neat brush strokes. All right, let that dry. And I'm going to go back to cutting out some other goodies for her hair. I want to talk to the village while I'm cutting this out. Today is actually my birthday. Yay, happy birthday, Lori Marie. And I went out yesterday and I bought myself a new pair of shoes. So I am not a person that collects shoes. I am not. But I had two pair of shoes, a pair of red shoes and a pair of black shoes that no longer fit correctly. And so I went out yesterday and I bought myself a new pair of Black Mary Janes, which I love. That's not what I wanted to talk to you about, though. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Little bunny trail there. What I wanted to talk to you about is how supportive our village is. We have quite a few members that have physical pain right now. Um, and our art world helps an awful lot. Uh, if we can get in a some kind of a trance while we're doing our mixed media artwork or any kind of artwork really then we can get away from that pain for a moment so that's talking about the physical pain and I want to talk about the emotional and spiritual pain bear with me I know that some of us go through and that is the um, monster of depression oh that's gorgeous huh I think as sensitive artists, we tend to go into slumps, funks. I know um, I was in a funk for a couple of weeks. Um, the Australians call it a flat battery, which I love because that's exactly what I had. I had a very flat battery. I don't know what causes it. And uh, I just have to ride the storm sometimes. So, but where I'm going with this is, I understand that as sensitive artists, we can go into that dark place. And what I want to say about our village is we are there to support each other as we go through those darker times. So don't stop watching the videos. Please continue to watch the videos 
because the the funk the flat battery will disappear whether you are moving your hands around or just enjoying watching me move my hands around okay so I'm just honoring that slight depression or deep depression that we as artists get into so gratefully I'm on the other side of mine and uh, and I know a couple people are are in it right now so whether it's physical pain or emotional pain I just want you to know that the village is there okay all right enough said I'm going to continue to cut things out here okay one more comment about cutting things out what you will do with the exacto is you will hold the exacto in just about the same spot and you will move the paper around rather than trying to move your exacto around to where you want it to cut. So move your paper around and not so much your hand. It will help. All right, now this, see, I pull that up. Okay, that's clean. This is not clean down here. Oops, see, Lori Marie. Do as I say, not as I do. Tiara on her maybe, huh? Don't know. We shall see. Let's just look at what we have. I'm curious. So we have her. We have this bird's nest. I don't know if it'll go that way. That's kind of fun. shell or two. I have another grape someplace. Here we go. Oh, that's coming together quite nicely. We need more color there. So. All right, I need some more, 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 more. All right, the second layer of acrylic is dry. Just gonna go in here and scuff this up. I'm gonna grab some more underpants, just like before. And my Mod Podge and my brush. Squiggly wiggly. Now you can use this technique on the whole piece, of course, but since we are just going to be seeing that top, I am not, oh, that was a generous amount. I am not uh, concerned with putting the underpants throughout the piece. Oh, that's gorgeous. And, of course, we will let that dry. 
All right, so the green acrylic is dry. I'm of course going to take my sanding block in there and rough it up. This section is going to show, this section is probably not going to show so much, but I'm going to go ahead and sand the whole piece just in case. I'm going to grab my Stabilo at this point and go ahead and smoky edge the page. So this page is going to be glued back into the, into the book. So I'm just going to go around the whole page and spit and smudge. Love it. So you're probably saying, why is she uh, stabiloing now? And this is purely for my comfort so that I can enjoy the energy of the page. Okay, page is done, I believe. I think there's going to be lots of energy going on here when we start uh, start collaging. So she's absolutely amazing. Just going to place these down. So this is the beginning of this, and I am just going to randomly sew things on. And I will bring her back as I sew things on so you can see the progress. First, her. All right, I have her sewn on. Some of you may say, I don't have a sewing machine. I don't like to sew. Well then, glue her on. I am just looking for something fun to do that's a little bit different for me. So that is why I am sewing this on. Next, I'm going to sew her hair on. I love this little leaf here, so I definitely want to save that. Okay, I have, I'm all over the map this morning, gang. I don't want to lose that bit of her hair, so I'm just going to... So if that goes there, and we can still keep some of her hair. All right, let's try it. Okie dokie, I have her hair, or what I'm calling her hair. I'm, I have that sewn on. This will go on later because I want that to be on the top. But I have all this other yummy stuff that I am just going to randomly sew on her and then uh, adjust at the very end. So I don't really have a big plan. I'm just going to go and collage her. All right, I'm just taking all this stuff, all of this stuff, all of this stuff. Oh, that's not, I'm not taking that. Hello. There. I'm just going to start sewing this on all willy-nilly. We'll see what happens. Oh, my goodness. Village. Oh, we're just crazy. Okay, so the collage is coming together quite nicely. I've just sewn a few things on her hair. This is her tiara, which I do have a purpose for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew the bottom line here so that I can tuck things behind that tiara. So it'll just be a straight line here, and then I'll be tucking things behind that tiara. She's awfully cool. <laughs> I have to say, you're awfully cool. All right, the sewing collage is done. I contemplated whether I wanted the strings on or not. I do not. Sometimes, like when I'm waxing, I leave the um, 
not when I'm waxing, but when I'm waxing my piece, I um, leave the strings on for kind of an effect. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that for this. She's amazing. I'm going to leave all these edges hanging off though. Um, I'm going to stabilo in here a little bit. It's warming up outside. Um, almost time for a Hudson walk. I'm going to tear her tiara off at those points. So this is a piece, this is a piece, this is a piece. Here, 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 here. Um, seashell behind here, here, here. Did I say these guys already? Here, here, here here and here. So those are the added pieces along with her hair, which I think is very, very fun. So let's grab the stabilo and just spit and smudge a little bit. Kind of took you on a wild and crazy journey today. It's kind of where I am. A little bit of me playtime love to bring you along. If you have questions or comments, please, please leave them on the YouTube because other people can learn from your questions. They may have the same question and haven't gotten around to asking it yet. Oh, she's pretty amazing. She is pretty amazing. So I'm going to bring my book back in. Here's a page that's already been glued to the next pages. So I'm going to use that. And then on this side is our cabinet card that we altered. So I'm going to bring her in, put some Mod Podge on that page, and then I'm just going to clip it down. So glad you guys are patient. So glad you guys don't mind coming along on the journey. Look at the back side of that. Woohoo. Oh, growling tummy. Growling tummy. Just going to throw it out there. Paul is joining us in Mexico. So there's uh, Jane and Paula and Patricia and Deli and Sandy and myself. <clears throat> and we do have room for one more. So if you've been wanting to take a workshop and you've been wanting to go to Mexico and create art under the palm trees, sipping on margaritas or whatever you sip on, this would be a great time for you to join us. All right. So I'm just going to put her down there. Clamp her down to that page. And leave her to dry. You going to reach? Sort of. All right, I'm done sitting on her. She's nice and flat and glued down. A fun sewing collage. Um, so go create, go play, go have fun.